What's up guys? We're heading down to Fort Myers Page Field because we moved to Florida and the one thing we're missing is a boat. We need a boat. And there happens to be a boat show down there. So let's make a trip out of it. I like it. Let's go. Doing our run up, parking brake set, flight control, we already checked, autopilot, check, fuel selector valve is on, both, friction lock, make sure lean is required before takeoff. Parts brief, we already talked about that. Alright, we're going to be taking off runway 33, three. we're going to have a right crosswind from 010, we're going to take off and we'll depart on the downwind out to the south if anything happens on the runway, well, then we'll uh, uh, throttle idle, idle full brake, we'll taxi off, we have runway remaining, we'll land, after that there's some fields right past the runway, um, it's kind of swampy but there's some like country roads there, and then anything about that we'll come back right here and land. Cool, alright. Elevator trim set for takeoff. And I'll have you do radios. I'm going to fly you radio. Flap set. Yep. Avionics, radios. Avionics. I have my flight plan in. 4500, 3029. Everything looks good. Doors and windows locked. Yes. Lights. We can get them. Car peats cold. Mixer's yep. rich. Parking brakes released. All right. Take off. I don't hear anybody. I see the guy, well, he just landed. Yeah, that was the one on the five mile final? I don't think so. I see someone way out there. Pop oh, I see someone. You're in the front, three mile final. Three, three, will be at the chin. I see him. We should wait, because we don't have time. There's someone still on the runway. The Popka has no uh, turn off taxiways, so. Uh, that's the worst thing about this airport. Yeah, there's, it's just an entry on the, the end of the runway and then an exit at the end of the runway. Yep. It's so when you land, you got to boogie it to the end. That plane is still on the runway. Yep. And now to no fault of their own, there's nowhere to get off. So you, the separation here between landings has to be so big because of that, because there's nowhere to get off. Yep. Yeah, so we're heading down to Page, Fort Myers Page. As Focus traffic 95315 is clear of the active. About an hour down, we're going to the Fort Myers Boat Show. Yeah. Which is exciting because uh, we are in the market for a boat. Wings and waves, baby. Wings and waves. That's that's something cool. We're definitely uh, focused on like a skiff, like 17, 18 foot yeah, skiff, we like skinny in water. Inshore fishing. Yeah. Corner of traffic, zero five six on Mike Golf, ten miles to the northeast. Gonna enter a left down. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you see that? Nope. Whoa. Popka traffic skyline 3802 Delta taking off runway 33 will be a uh, departure on the downwind. Popka. Finals clear. Lights mixture. Popka traffic uh, 1180 uniform is departure lag. We're gonna depart on the downwind as well to the southeast. Popka traffic. Uh, winds coming from your no uh, from your right. All right, runway 33. Ready. See ya. Popka traffic lights four seven taking uniform seven miles to the west. Uh, planning runway 33 to pop in. Right in the green, airspeed's alive, 55. Pop good traffic, let's go for the thing, airport, set them out. Pitching left. over for 78. Out of pop good traffic, uh, Husky departing runway 33, left turn out of pop good. That's good. Clear trees, feeling stable, flaps are coming out. Birds to our right. You got this guy. Yep. But right. there's birds. Yeah. Three of traffic, SA three daughters, uh, three miles off the departure into runway five. We'll be entering the left wind for zero five. Yeah, I have him. I'll, I'll, I'll extend him. Yeah. 
Winhaven traffic, White Sky Hall, White Sky Wind, the final runway 5 for stop taxi back, Winhaven. We're going to do a late crossing turn because the. Yep. Caught up to them a little bit. Yeah, we're a little faster. Sure, six on my golf is uh, doing a 360 follow the traffic crossing the departure into five now, and uh, we'll be entering down the Probably good now. Left the traffic, yeah. that'll work. Popka traffic, sky at 302 Delta, turn on left crosswind at Popka. All right, flaps are zero, airspeed 85 to 100. Look at that grass field. Why have I never seen that? Uh, I don't know. Have you? No. I guess we're always so focused here. Oh, we turned crosswind way before here, that's why. Yeah, that's true. I'm about to say, how have I never seen that gorgeous grass strip? Stop and go, when I have it. No, it's too, too, same time. All right, there was somebody else out here. Oh, I see him. No factor. Okay, we have someone also on a crosswind since we had to out extend. Yep, the Popka traffic. Con 302 Delta, left downwind departure to the southwest of Popka. I'm just gonna sidestep. I see him. Oh, I got them too. Oh, that's the cub. Yeah. It's probably like, what are they doing? We had to make space, man. Yeah. So many traffic, that's 839, or they're the left for zero five. Hold on. Speeds and temps look good. Oh, we got the high wind side for 446. We are going to, I'm going to pull back into more of like a cruise Very climb now, just keep everything so cool. So if you don't know, on the earlier model 182s, we don't have cow flaps. So engine temperature management is everything, which can be a little bit difficult. Luckily, it's a little bit colder out today, but that means that I pull a little bit of power when I can, when I'm safely at a good altitude. Like I said, we're now almost at 3,000 feet start to pull the power back a little bit and pitch over for a higher airspeed to keep a lot more airflow coming through the engine. As like I said, I don't have cow flaps to dump out that hot air at the bottom of the cowling, like with the newer 182s, where you can keep a more aggressive climb and more power through your climb. So we just have to be a little bit more gentle with our engine, but we're still climbing at 700 feet per minute. My engine's cool at 386 on the cylinder head temps. It's perfect for me during a climb. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. A lot of people ask me, to, is the straight tail fast? Like, is the straight tail 182 the fastest 182? And honestly, we've never got to those speeds because we can't really go with all the RPM and the manifold and everything because of the engine. Well, we can cruise. It's just yeah. not as fast as what people think. It's not. The the brand new 182s are, are faster. significantly faster. The 182 T models, the brand new ones that I used to fly, would cruise at 147 knots true all day. Yeah, I've people seen don't it. even People don't want to believe it, but it's true. I saw it all the time. Go back on my Instagram. <laughs> and they're burning the same fuel as we are. I mean, we're burning 14 gallons an hour at cruise. But the advantage to this being such a lighter aircraft in comparison to the heavier new ones is that this like willingly jumps off the ground. The oh, new yeah. 182s I pull off the ground. Nice flying planes, but it's just a different feeling. Yeah, that whole nose heavy 182 thing is not in mojo. No, it is not. not I mean, it's like landing a, a 172. Pretty much. Which is a lot more power. If we put wheel pants on, it'd probably get a couple more knots. If I kept up with the polishing, you know, everybody online says I'll get a couple more knots too. Hey, I just put a lot of hours into polishing. Didn't you use a toothbrush? Literally. <laughs> like on. Like those hard to reach areas, like on my flap joints and stuff, like especially on the top where you can't see and it gets a lot of gunk buildup. Um, I use a toothbrush to get it all clean. Nice. I'm obsessed with a clean plane. Well, it looks great. Thanks. I've literally put eight to ten hours recently of detail work. Not big polishing work, but detail like around rivet heads and stuff. Like, yeah, it's a lot. It matters. I mean, we're in Florida now, so rust and corrosion is a real factor on a polished, metalized plane. It is. So, we got to take care of her. All right, we're in cruise now. Yep, leveling at 45. I'm about to throw the autopilot on, that way I can get a good lean on it. So, 
I'm just going to trim it out first. That's another thing um, with our earlier model airplane. The autopilot doesn't have the servos for the trim tab. As trims for everything else except for the trim tab. So what I like to do before I put the autopilot on is get it into cr hands-free cruise, just like this, before I put the autopilot on. Otherwise, if you're like put it on during the climb, which is fine, once you get to cruise, you're gonna have to auto retrim and it comes up with a little caution on my 275 saying trim down, trim down. And that's fine, but you're flying out of whack for a little while. So I prefer to climb out uh, hand flying, get it into cruise, the finger flying cruise where you don't need trim or anything and then initiate the autopilot, which I taught you last time. Get it all set up first without turning on the autopilot. So get the flight director set with my heading bug, which is on right now, and then capture my altitude. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. My purple bars are matching my flight plan. And then I'll turn the autopilot on and nothing crazy happens. Hands up. That's what we want. Now I'm gonna get a new magenta line. You can activate that and now I'm going on nav mode so now we're following the GPS direct to page field cool 4500 feet so we are under a Bravo that has 6,000 feet so we're gonna stay under it and we're gonna just barely skim the Disney TFR that goes up to 3,000 feet so I'm sure that'll be a repetitive thing on our channel the Disney TFR goes to 3,000 Bravo's at six, so if you're VFR not talking to anyone, you have a little bit of room to play with. We're in the happiest place on earth, so we get to see Disney every time we fly. Seems like we like to go south a lot. You do. I do. I mean, I do too. Yeah. That's a you thing. Yeah. Well, is there, there's always a tailwind going south in the winter in Florida. Not true. <laughs> That's not you true. You just made that up. I did. We are on a north operation at MCO a lot more than in the winter. Elevator trim, you did that. Make sure we're leaning in now. Lights as required. I'm going to keep them all on. We have the wheel and watt LEDs, so I love to keep those on flying around Florida where, gosh, it is so busy here. So busy, and it's a really nice day out. It is a little bit at a time for this lean assist. Like, you can't be quick on it. Yeah. I just do little half turns, let it settle, half turn, let it settle. If someone the same altitude, but they are three miles that way. I'm looking for them. Opposite direction. It should be right, I got him. Right above the horizon. Look, half inch above the horizon. Got him. Got him. All right, we just got in cruise and all ready, and we are about, it says 49 minutes to Fort Myers. Not too bad. No crazy airspace on our way. A lot of traffic, but that's about it. I'm excited though, we've been wanting a boat for a while. Yeah, can't wait. All right, welcome back. We're about 20 uh, miles out. I'm gonna call Fort Miles approach and uh, see if they'll give us a little, right, so little tour into the Charlie. I'm gonna start going down to three. Oops, not mean to do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call. Fort Myers uh, approach, Skyline 3802 Delta VFR request uh, to a page field. 302 Delta Samba for Scott. Gotcha. 302 Delta Scott 0440, uh, Dent, and state type aircraft. 0440, we are a sky lane and uh, we're 20 miles north of Page Field inbound uh, with information alpha. Push at 1236, cross like off at 5000, maintain 4000. Perfect, like off at 5000, but clear down to 4000. Are we clear to the Charlie? Yeah. Two kilomite, maintain eight. He hasn't radared us yet, but yeah, waiting for that. He said our tail number, and he even gave us a squawk. It didn't say to stay out. Delta, your radar contact uh, ten east of the Punaguada Airport, altitude indicate three thousand five hundred. Verify. Altitude checks. And three zero two Delta, altitude check. Three zero two Delta, VFR descent to your discretion. 
Yeah, be proud to send our discretion, zero two depth, thanks. Might even All go right. down to 25, oops, why do I keep doing that? This is another airport that I've never uh, flown into, so this is cool. I've actually never flown in here either. Yeah. New for me. Right on the Caloosahatchee. Wow, look at yeah. you, that big word. So this uh, Fort Myers got hit pretty good by Hurricane Ian. So uh, the boat show that we're going to actually got moved back to January um, because all the debris and everything. And uh, we had the day off, so we're coming down for it. And uh, hopefully we can find something neat. You know, there's a lot of brands that uh, in Florida, especially that makes gifts. So I'm excited. And uh, who's going on? Now we got everything loaded. Got approach, got tower free, got five, ground five, free. Five, four miles approach, Roger. I think I see where the airport is going to be based on like this lack of cut out, things yeah. there. Yeah, zero two Delta contact HR. Over to Page Tower, zero two Delta, we're going. Page Tower, Skyline three, zero two Delta, 12 miles to the north inbound, full stop with Alpha. Skyline three, two Delta, stay up surface area for now, and pattern is full, and I'll call you back. Copy, zero two double. Nine four two double three phone company expected and extended that one. Well, cool. Who's the top one? Nine one one top of Fox right. You're gonna follow a twin Cessna and a seven mile final. Just keep uh, looking for traffic. Two off for your me. right, then the twins about another three miles. Let me know when you get in sight. I'll let you know when I get up in sight. Nine one top of Fox right. We're only nine miles away. I'm just gonna circle right here. Columbia 05 Lima, what's your parking location? I've never gotten that Columbia before. 05 Lima, turn left. The pattern's full. Pattern is full. We've never got that before. 9 one pop box drop twin test. Your following is at 1 o'clock in a the mile. The only poor mile. thing about being flying in South Florida. 9-1-5 box drop. 9-1-5 box drop. Follow that traffic. Your number uh, 5, only really 5, you're clear to touch and go. Okay, 6-5 uh, Lima, you can proceed direct to Cape. I think there are 140 the heading for now for traffic. Alright, 140 on the heading. Okay. November 9, one pop box out. You can follow that traffic again. You're clearly touching. We'll go. do one more. Follow that traffic. Clear yes. Good. I want pop box out. Air Cruise State, 18 Sarah Whiskey, ground point seven, Alpha three. No delay around the corner. 145 Sierra Lima, fly heading zero three zero, only five. You're clear to take off. Traffic mile and a half final. Traffic again. Okay. Two zero five zero four. So as a controller, this is one of those things where you need to manage, um, you know, the practice approaches versus people who are landing. Like, obviously, everyone's first come, first serve, but people doing pattern work, stand them out. Zero three zero at one three on the surface. Roger, yeah, we'll slow it down a little bit for you. Hey, Tower 552, I got that traffic inside. 552 Sierra, right, thanks. Your number, we're going to do for five. Make sure all my fuel doesn't go to one wing. Tango, go around. A 9 0 Tango, Roger, go around. Thanks a lot. And what's your park? Uh, what would you like to do? Sir, stay in the VFR pattern? Let's go with uh, 145 Sierra Lima. Fly heading of 030, runway 5. You're clear for takeoff. Traffic two miles out. Heading 030, clear for takeoff. Runway uh, 5, 5 Sierra Lima. Okay, Sour, Skyhawk 10897 on the RNAV 5 for a full stop. 897, report turning final. We'll report for turning final, 897. Tower Skyline 02 Delta, are we able to come inbound yet? Uh, 26, uh, 2690 Tango, heading 310 and contact departure. Page Tower Skyline 02 Delta, are we able to come inbound yet? Skyline 02 Delta, affirmative enter, midfield left down one, only five, report down one. Roger, we'll enter uh, midfield uh, down one, we'll report uh, 02 Delta, thank you. All right. Fields in sight. That's on both. Basically, we'll be based. We'll come out this way. Yep. And then we'll land this way. Yeah, we're going to pretty much follow the river line. That's why I wanted extra fuel coming down here. Yep, always important. But this is different than Naples, though. I mean, Naples, you understand there's IFR traffic inbound. This is, you know, and I get it, everybody's training. 
Pitch tower, Roger 952 Alpha, 9.5 miles to the north inbound uh, with information Alpha for full stop, next Roger 952 Alpha, Roger, thanks. Continue for left downwind for runway 5, report midfield downwind. Left downwind for runway 5, report midfield, left downwind, 952 Alpha. That's where the boat should be. 10897, runway 5, you're clear to line, traffic to heading in the pattern. Alright, we have to uh, call him on the midfield downwind. Yep. Alright, we're gonna have to look for other landing yeah, traffic. Get, I have a gap coming up for departures, it'll be just a couple minutes for everybody. This will be like number four, five, six to land, so we'll need to... It looks like we're gonna be number three, based on that. That Congo line is all down. I see the landing traffic. I have all my lights on, fuel's on both, I gotta get the flaps and autopilot's already off. Turn them watts on. Page tower, 915 Foxtrot, midfield, gonna make this one a full stop. 915 Foxtrot, continue on that one. Uh, call midfield, someone else is here too. Tower Skyline 0, uh, 2 Delta is uh, left mid midfield, uh, downwind, runway 5. 10 zero, 2 Delta, Roger, continue on the downwind. Roger. I don't see them on the Are they on the other side? Yeah, they gotta be. 5522 Sierra, go around. Yeah, look. Okay. 2 Sierra, Roger, follow the traffic off you now. He went. Following that traffic to two Sierra. I see them. I don't. Oh, I see a, I see a, a parallel downwind. And traffic. I see to go around. Yeah. Going close on now for you to wrap up. Two two Sierra, follow right. that Cessna. Car beat supply. Following that Cessna, five five two two Sierra. We are faster than that guy he's talking Phase about. Phase power, Skyhawk one two three two. I see two, base. Two, two, three, Is that who we're? Oh, there's a. Uh, I see the one up the turning on base. There's a guy in downwind. Oh, stop. That, that might be him. Remain on the surface here for now. I'll call you back in a couple of minutes. You can stay to the north if you want. I'll stay north. One seven two two three. You see base? Yeah. Yeah. Archer three eight two Delta. Traffic your phone or three eight zero two Delta. Traffic your phone. The Cessna on the left base, just off your left hand side. Adam. Traffic inside zero two Delta. Zero two Delta. Go ahead and follow that traffic number three runway five. Your clear line. Roger. We'll follow, follow that traffic number three uh, runway five. Clear to land zero two Delta. Thanks. Landing lights on. I think there's somebody on that RNAV approach that we'll be in front of. I see him. I got him. Over Sanibel, final for runway five. Six eight zero. I got him. I got the next one. Multiple aircraft to heading in the pattern. Copy that. Clear to land on five. We'll keep our eyes open. Alpha Tango. We should be well in front of them. Zero two Delta. If you haven't done so, start your base. On base. On the base. Zero two Delta. Page Tower Roger six nine six Alpha is reporting left midfield that one runway five. Six nine six Alpha. Continue on that one. Any other downwind? <laughs> He's keeping Alpha. this. Uh, 952 Alpha, you're following company Archer at your 12 o'clock. Continue on the downwind. All right, I got the downwind traffic. You got the downwind traffic. 952 Alpha. Expect 5522 Sierra. Expect extended downwind. Expect extended downwind. 5522 Sierra. 65 Lima, ground point seven. For ground, thanks for helping. Lost the traffic by seat. Should him. be over the numbers. Uh, I got him. Yeah. We good on space? Uh, yep, we're good. Just uh, box it. Box it in a second. You see him now? No. All right, we're good. Yes. Oh, we have plenty of room. Yeah. Number two, two Sierra. Make go one left three sixty. Yep. One left three sixty. Two two yeah, Sierra. Coming. November uh, nine five two Alpha. Make a uh, right three sixty. Right three sixty nine five two Alpha. Whew. Two notches flat, make sure. Prop, car pizza applied. Got one okay, I'm building a gap for departures, is this going to be a couple minutes? Clear to land, Dr. landing lights Dr. on. Yep. 20504, you're following a jet, a second jet on final. <laughs> I'll have you uh, turn in just a little bit. Looking for traffic, 20504. Yeah. And it's windy. November uh, 9 6 Alpha, you're starting to encroach on the final. You want to widen out to your right. Widen out to the right, 6 9 6 Alpha. Continue on the downwind for 2 2 Sierra and for 9 5 2 Alpha. Continue on the downwind, 9 5 2 Alpha. Continue downwind, 2 2 Sierra. Power's coming idle. And I'm a pop box truck around point seven.
<laughs> 382 Delta, what's your parking location? FBO uh, 02 Delta. Why don't you go ahead and turn left there, Charlie 2, if you can do it, ground point seven. We're off of Charlie 2, thanks for the help, 02 Delta. If you, you. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, thank God. <laughs> No, you're going to follow, actually follow the second one. Uh, he's doing 150 across the ground. It'll be just a moment. Page ground, uh, Skyline 02 Delta off at Charlie 2, uh, across the taxi to the FBO. 02 Delta ground, taxi base off this frequency. Base off this frequency, 02 Delta. Ready to straight. Straight across. Well, you nice job, baby. Here we some. It is always eventful coming into uh, Southwest Florida. I did not think Paige would be so over it. This busy. So this, over it. That was uh, for those of you that have watched our Naples video. Yeah. This is a lot similar, not uh, the same but scenic at least view. Naples was at least talking to us the whole time. This guy yeah. is like, he's like, the pattern is clear. It's full. The pattern is full. That's like a maverick thing. I know. All right, so he's over there looking at you. Or are they going over there? Oh, he wants over Kevin, there. I was going to follow this guy until he, you started talking. Well, he looked at me. He shouldn't have looked at me. <laughs> what? He, he went okay, like this. Okay, <laughs> Let me do my thing. <laughs> it was the exo jet that he was talking to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I forget. We're we not get, parking at the front door. I forget. We get parked way down the line. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Hey, we're going to back tail in to that tie down. Page ground, Skyhawk 1897 at Alpha 3, back to page. So I say nine or seven ground for fair. All right, we made it, y'all. Cool. Thanks for coming with us. Let's go see some boats. <laughs> oh my gosh! special for you guys you just watched that video of us flying to Fort Myers to go to the boat show and we were there we learned all about the beaver tail skiffs and now it's a few weeks later and we bought one and wanted to show you guys all about it boat on our lake for daily use. We go do some bass fishing and stuff here in Central Florida. Our main reason for wanting this boat is to take it inshore fishing over to the backwaters on the coast and do redfish fishing and trout fishing, stuff like that. But for daily use in our backyard, this is what we do. We're going to show you a little bit about it and uh, maybe we'll catch a fish or two. Up here we have a polling platform. We do have a, a pole so when you're in super shallow water you can pull around instead of using the engine. The engine we have is a Mercury 115 with dual power poles on the back. This is really awesome because you can use it to sit or you can look at stand and look for fish way out in front of you. We have a live well back here, lots of storage. I love the stitching on the seats. This is a 2022 beaver tail skiff so it can get into super shallow water. I love how these are made. They're made right here in Florida. We have Garmin in the center console. Have to have Garmin. You know, everything we have has Garmin. And let's see, 
Up here we have an additional seat and underneath Right now we're using it for storage, but it is insulated to be a cooler here. So we have a built-in cooler right here underneath the seat. We have a sound system with Bluetooth to listen to some tunes while we're out driving around. Additional storage up here. And then we have a trolling motor with a control. That way, if we're not right up here on the front of the boat, we can still control it and get to all the spots we want to get to. And that's the quick walk around of our 2022 Beaver Tail. Ha <laughs> ha!